It promotes coexistence between landlords and tenants in Miro predominantly areas, but also supports registration of customary tenure in the other regions. Of course, I said it is in being implemented in, in Mitiana, but when I talk about other regions, they have gone to Teso and uh, a bit of Lango. We, we, we are looking at this project as a pilot project. It has been successful in the areas where it has been implemented. People have been in position to get certificates of customary ownership, but also certificates of occupancy. To me, those documents are vital because they clearly show who is where and how many acres do they have in one way or another. And it also improves on the, relation, the, on the relationship between the landlord and the tenants. Where it has worked, you realize that the landlords clearly know that these are my tenants. And even it gives security to a tenant to walk to a bank and access some credit and be in position to do some productive work, which wasn't possible before, because before you wouldn't simply walk to a bank or a money lending institution and you say, I have a Chibanja. They would ask, where is the simple document that shows? Remember, most of our people don't have documentation relating to their bivangias in one way or another. It has worked, and uh, I have asked them to ensure that at least let the, the project work in a systematic way. And in each country, it's in a different way. So this is, of course, clear because the context is everywhere different. As for Uganda, we achieved already the documentation of land rights for about 90,000 households which is quite uh, impressive, and this with support and co-finance from the European Union. And we see already the impacts of this. So as it was already mentioned by the minister, uh, land disputes are really decreasing, and this is a very valuable and significant uh, contribution to social cohesion and peace.